Hi guys and ladies, maybe the best fish recipe I ever turned out were bluegill sandwiches. Lately I've been wondering if I could put together something like a bluegill cheeseburger. Well, you know the routine. I have all the ingredients, uh, 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 except one, the fish. So let's go get them. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Today, let's go with one of my favorite yet simplest rigs. It's just a 1 16th ounce lead jig head. And on the hook is a mealworm. I use these guys because they're a little tidier than earthworms, but you can use any live bait. Enough talk, let's see if the fish are biting. <laughs> not bad, not bad, right off the bat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, it doesn't look like much, but it's a it's a good one. Let's see. Look at this. Look what he spit up. He spit up a leech. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that's the biggest one yet. Nice, huh? <laughs> Just through the lip, very gently. He's on, he's on, he's on. <laughs> they're running a little small, but they're edible. No! Oh! He stayed in the boat. Oh, oh. Okay. Immediately. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, okie dokie. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, my worm, come on, buddy. It's a monster! All right, look at this thing. Oh yeah, it's almost nine inches. <laughs> wow. Looky here, I've got seven bluegill. That gives me over a pound of fillets. That's plenty for our bluegill cheeseburgers. Looking here at all the fillets we produced from yesterday's outing, I've got a pound and a quarter here. There'll be leftover fish with this meal for sure, but here's the challenge now. I'm on a low carb diet, so I need to come up with some low carb buns, and let's see if we can make our own. I'm gonna start by putting six large eggs into this bowl. This is three and a half ounces of melted butter. Okay, here gently I'm putting six ounces of almond flour on top. Let's spread it. Who thinks of these things? Now looky here, I have two teaspoons of this baking powder, not baking soda. I'm gonna spread it as evenly as possible. Okay, all we have to do is mix this. Uh-oh, look at this. Looky here, I've got these special vinyl molds. Let's fill them up. See what, how many we get. I've got five. I think they're too flat, I don't know. Let's hope they puff up. I'm gonna put them in the oven for 17 and a half minutes. The oven's set for 350. 
It's been 17 and a half minutes. Let's see what we got. Hey, they puffed up a little. And look, they just come right out of these molds. I'll put uh, a link in the description where you could get these uh, vinyl molds. Part of the challenge of making your own buns is to cut them evenly. Hi, Juanelo. Let's do a breading for our fish. Here is one cup of Parmigiana and Pecorino Romano. I use both the expensive stuff and the cheap stuff. Why Pecorino Romano? Because I like to say it. Pecorino Romano. One cup. Here I've got three quarters cup of breadcrumbs. Ah, ah, ah. These are low carb breadcrumbs. See, I got them. Here goes a teaspoon of lemon pepper seasoning. About a half teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. A half teaspoon of garlic powder. A half teaspoon of onion powder. Let's mix it all up. In this bowl, I'm putting seven eggs. You've seen me do this before. You just take a, oh, look at how big those fillets are. You just take a fillet and dunk it in the uh, egg mixture. Then let it drain and into the breadcrumbs. Then pat those breadcrumbs onto the fish. Look at that, shake off the excess, ready to go. Here's the last one. Let's fry them up. I'm going to shallow fry these fillets. You've seen me do this before. A stick of butter, and then I'm just gonna cover the bottom with a little oil. That's enough. While our butter and oil are heating up, I'm gonna to toast these buns. Our temperature is about 350, 360. I'm gonna put our fillets in there. Let's start cooking. Away from you, Fritz away from you. We're going to do these two minutes on each side, I hope. Oh! Ah! Here's what I'm going to do. Call me crazy. I don't know. I've never done this. On these pieces of fish, I'm going to drop some cheese. I don't know if this will work. We're making cheese fish burgers. Fish cheeseburgers. They're melting already, but just to ensure, I'm going to cover them for a little while. That's about enough. Let's get them out. <laughs> I'm going to keep these warm in the oven just for a little bit. While our buns are toasting and our fish is keeping warm in the oven, I might as well tell you all that the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is on her way over here to try my uh, fish cheeseburgers. I only wish I could impress her on how wonderful marriage is. Y you don't realize it until you've lost it, or so I hear. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for joining me at my uh, flimsy farmhouse. And uh, you had a chance to partake of my fish cheeseburger uh, sandwiches. And what did you think? It was very good. The fish was really? very wonderfully seasoned. I like And that. the buns were very uh, buttery. I don't know. Mm -hmm. They were, it was they all very. They had butter in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a nice fresh lettuce and tomatoes. Thank you so very much. Good. I like them too. Yes. It was one of my better ones. You, you know, Miss Cheeks, uh, oh, I can say Lulu now. Uh, but you, you don't realize how impactful marriage is uh, until you lose it. You, you remember Betty, mm -hmm. well, uh, her husband, you remember it. He left her like five years ago, and I noticed that she's been drinking a lot ever since. Oh, really? Wow, she's still celebrating her freedom? Huh? Uh, can I have a hug? <laughs>